Hey everybody, um, this question is asking you to identify the length of line segment AB, and it's not explicitly stated, but you can infer it. How can you infer it? Well, here's what we know about this figure. We know that this line right here that I have highlighted in blue is three and a half, which means that this is three and a half, which means that this is three and a half. And we know that this red line over here would be equal to this red line over here, and if we bring this down, it would be equal to that. So the red line plus the blue line has to equal seven and one fourth. That means that if we subtract the three and a half, in other words, the blue line from the entire thing, which is seven one fourth, we should be able to get this, this piece right here, which is not seven and one fourth, it'd be less than that. So let's examine how we would do that. We, the first problem we have, we don't have common denominators. So that's number one is to make sure that you do. So let's rethink everything as fourths. We'll keep this as seven and one fourth, but let's rename this as fourths. Ask yourself two times what would be four? And the answer to that question would be two. One times two would be two. So this is equal to three and two fourths. And remember, we're subtracting. Now we also have the problem of you can't take two away from one. Now what does renaming look like when you're dealing with mixed numbers? We're going to cross this out and make that a 6. But the 1 that we're taking away from that doesn't disappear. In fact, I'm just going to write it down here. 4 fourths is equal to 1. Why are we choosing 4 fourths and not 3 thirds or 5 fifths? Because we're working with fourths. Now, if we add the 4 fourths with the 1 fourth that we already have, how many fourths is that? And the answer is it's 5 fourths. Now, something that will work every time whenever you come across this kind of situation is if you just quite simply add the, this number, the denominator, and the numerator. Anytime you're doing a renaming, that will always work. 4 plus 1 gives us 5. It is the number we have here. So you cross that out and you make it a 5. All right. So now we can go ahead and subtract this minus this. 5 minus 2 would be 3. This would be 4 still. And the only thing left you have to do is to just subtract the 6 minus 3, and then you'll have your whole number. Now, I do want to talk about another approach whenever the renaming gives you some confusion. Did you know that another option that you have is to just turn this green value into an improper fraction? And if I do that, 7 times 4, these two pro the, number, the product of these two numbers is 20, and I can add in that number and get 29. And did you know that this times this, if we think about how many fourths that's equal to, this times this is 12, plus the two more is 14. So whenever you find yourself getting messed up with the renaming, then just turn both values into improper fractions, and you get something forced there. Now when you get to something forced, you have to subtract the 29 minus the 14, take that, whatever that difference is, and you have to divide it by 4. So that would give you the same thing. So approach number one is to finish what we have here in green, finish by subtracting that. Approach number two is the improper fraction equivalence of what I have in green, and then rename that as a mixed number. All right, good luck finishing that up.